Hi everyone, Danella back again with her two favourite mascots. We've got Nora and we've got Cora. Cora the coronavirus. You can see Cora is a little bit bigger and uh, quite irregular up the top. We're going to talk a bit more about Cora's structure next week. And Nora is the famous norovirus that loves to cause havoc on cruise ships. Nora is a lot more regular, doesn't have a lipid membrane on the outside. So next time I record, I'm going to show you more about what makes these two viruses different. Hand washing is great for both of them, but especially great for Cora because Cora has a lipid membrane on its outside that is dissolved by alkaline hand soap. Okay. We'll put them in the rubbish bin, bring them back out next week. Okay, so today what I want to do for you is help you protect your hands from constant hand washing. There's going to be four important points. Point number one, liquid soap is very caustic to the hands. So always wet your hands before you add liquid soap. If you don't, it'll be very irritating and you'll start to scratch and that's when you're going to set yourself up for more damage. So enjoy the lathering sensation, have a bit of a meditation. You might sing happy birthday twice. I like to sing my own tunes in my head. Sweet child of mine. And you can um, spend your 20 seconds in perfect relaxation. Now, don't be too rough with your hands. This is Point number two, when you are distributing the soap, you're going to spread it around, be gentle, do not scratch your hands too much when you're pushing the soap under your fingernails, just be gentle. You don't want to damage the surface of the skin. Point number three, rinse for as long as you soak. So you're going to sit here and keep singing your song or whatever it takes to get you through another good 20 seconds of rinsing. So this is very important when we're doing lots of hand washing because if you leave any residual soap on your hands, it'll cause irritation and before you know it, you'll be scratching the surface of your skin and that will set you up for eczema. And our fourth point is also quite relatable to eczema. When it comes time to drying your hands, Grab your paper towel. You must thoroughly dry your hands. Can you see what I'm doing that's different? I am not rubbing my hands. I am patting and squeezing. So squeeze and pat. Squeeze and pat until your hands are thoroughly dry. This is really important. The Wetness will drag organisms from the pores of your skin to the surface. So that's why you need to make sure your hands are perfectly dry. You can use your paper toweling to close the taps, obviously. Let's recap four important points to protect your skin from constant hand washing. Point number one, wet your hands before adding soap. Wet your hands first. Point number two, Distribute well, but be gentle. Put the soap under your fingernails, but be gentle with your skin. Point number three, rinse for as long as you soap. This is to remove residual soap to not lead to inflammation. And point number four, when you grab your paper towel, pat and squeeze, don't rub. Okay, I hope you all manage to perform your hand washing uh, many times a day because it's going to be quite critical during the times that we live in at the moment. And I look forward to talking to you again um, very soon, I hope.